Hi folks, welcome to the Cannabis Corner. I'm your host, Kerry Burns. When you do a side-by-side -side comparison of what things would look like if you had cannabis legal versus if you kept it illegal, there's some stark realizations that become to be apparent. And sometimes when we look at things side-by-side, -side, we can tend to get a better focus on what's really going on. But take, for, for instance, when we look at the uh, trillion dollar and a half industry that could be going on with the hemp industry right now if, it was, if cannabis was legal in this country. We're talking about 20 to 30 barrels of oil per acre of every acre we grow. This doesn't interfere with the hemp fibers. The production of the seed doesn't interfere with the production of the flower tops or the stalks or the herds that, that can make over 50,000 products. This is a win-win. This is a oil that's just waiting to be grown and waiting to be burned in every motor in this country. Now, when you look at the uh, other side of the picture with cannabis being illegal, we don't have that trillion and a half dollar industry. In fact, we have a $150 billion tax deficit supporting the Drug Enforcement Agency and the Department of Justice once the uh, people are arrested, and also the, pris the prison industrial complex, which costs us anywhere from five to $10 billion a year. So when you add all that up, it's, uh, it takes away from our economy, it doesn't help us whereas the trade and a half dollar hemp industry would help us. When you look at the uh, fact too that in the entire dawn of time since the history of use of cannabis, nobody has ever died or gone to the hospital for cannabis. But uh, you just take the fact that in Mexico alone in the last four or five years, over 50,000 people are dead due to cartel violence in Mexico. And this pales in comparison to the 120,000 that have died in prison that contracted AIDS that were sent to the prison basically for possession of marijuana or maybe a distribution of marijuana. But these, uh, these numbers are quite staggering. When you look at the fact that if it's legal, we don't have anybody dying from it, and yet it's okay if it's illegal because we have people just dying across the border right and left, and this is just wrong. It's, it's just unheard of that people are gonna sit back and let this kind of death and this type of violence go on when all we gotta do is legalize the cannabis. The cannabis. Another thing you won't have when you have cannabis legal, you won't have these gangs on every street corner. The, there's no doubt about the fact that when you have a substance illegal, we learned from prohibition a long time ago with Al Capone gangs that formed and all that, this is no different. When you have drugs illegal and cannabis illegal, this is what brings about these street gangs. These did not exist back in the early days when the cannabis was legal, nor did they exist in the late 60s and early 70s. These were just, these were things that were brought about once we brought drugs mainstream in America and the Drug Enforcement Agency was doing their thing. On the other side of the picture, if you keep cannabis illegal, if you keep drugs illegal, then guess what? You've got street gangs on every corner. And with that, you've got the violence, you've got the guns, you've got the drive-by shootings, the in innocent victims that are dying, all needlessly because when you have a substance illegal and the illegal market takes hold of it, they don't mind spreading a little bit of violence to take care of it, and that's what you're looking at. This, these gangs are just out of control, and the reason they're out of control is because we have given them the perfect opportunity to do this to America and to different, different facets of society. Another thing you won't have when you're looking at the fact when cannabis is legal is that about 90% of the prescription drugs out there will disappear. It is a known fact that cannabis has extreme medicinal properties and about 85 to 90% of these addictive, hardcore, debilitating prescription drugs that are passed out by the doctors hand over fist and also that are sold on the illicit market, all of these would disappear because these are very deadly to the human body. They're not set up as a natural plant, like the natural plant cannabis is. When you look on the other side of the picture, the only ones that gain from having cannabis illegal is big pharmacy and the doctors and the and you have countless needless lives ruined, people that get addicted to hardcore prescription drugs just because their doctor gave them a prescription, they think it's okay, and then once they take it for a while, they find out about the debilitating effects of it and that the side effects of it are far greater than anything they were taking the medicine for in the first place. This is just absolutely insane. Another thing we won't have if you have cannabis legal, we'll have the cartels disappear. 
these drug cartels in Mexico, the violence that's going on with all of them, this is all about bringing marijuana into the United States. This isn't about the drug trafficking in this country. This is about the marijuana business in this country. And if this was a homegrown business here in the United States, which it would be in the United States if we had cannabis legal, these cartels would disappear. They would have to set up legal, legitimate businesses that worked within the confines of trade, just like we do in any other business that's out there that promoted to retail to the public. If you don't make cannabis legal, if you don't end this drug war, the cartels just get richer and richer. And as they get richer, the violence spreads. They do not care how many people they kill. You look at the 50,000 that have died already in less than five years along the border towns of Mexico and spreading back into Acapulco. And this is only because they are making tremendous profits off a substance that should be legal, a substance that should be placed into mainstream America and give us the shot in the arm we need in this industrial downturn we have in this country because of all the prior things like NAFTA and CAFTA and the things that our government has done to us. We have got to stop all of this, folks. This is just this is just insane. And one of the biggest things of all is that the farmers in America, the ones that have been struggling all this time, trying to compete with all these industrial corporation-owned uh, big farms and stuff. These farmers, they're, they're just, they've been struggling long enough. If we legalize cannabis and we legalize the hemp industry, it's going to be a boon for them. It's going to be a boon for the family farmer and a boon for the, for the somewhat larger farmers that are individuals. The only reason that this will be good for them is because they will be able to compete with these big farms. And regardless of, of how much they produce and all, whatever the small-time farmer produces, he'll be able to sell it at a competitive price just like these bigger farms. And he'll actually be able to do better because hopefully he'll be producing organically and his costs will be much lower than the pesticide-laden, spraying giant corporations that run these, these huge grow ops now. And if we don't do that, folks, I'm sorry, but the farmers will lose. And they've been losing all along. It's since the Great Depression, they've never really made a great comeback. And once the time they came when they looked like they could make a stand and get things going for them, what do we do? We knock the legs out from under them, and then the big corporations come in and take over. So when you do a side-by-side -side comparison of cannabis being legal versus it being illegal, it, it, it's, if you look at the right side of the column there, the things that, when it's illegal, all of those activities that go on, those are what should be illegal. And if you look at the side-by-side -side comparison, doesn't it look like a plus on the left side all the way down when having cannabis legal? Do you see anything in that aisle other than that <clears throat> fact that it's going to hurt big, big pharmacy and it's going to hurt the cartels and it's going to get rid of the gangs and it's going to get rid of the bloodshed and all the violence in Mexico and it's going to be a boon for the farmers. Do you see anything about that that seems bad or that seems wrong? And when you look on the right side of the chart there and you see all the stuff that goes on having cannabis illegal, is it really worth it in our society to have that kind of bloodshed going on, to have that sort of crookedness going on, to have that sort of power given to the gangs in America? Is that really necessary? folks? Do we really need all of that? Do we need this giant police state to enforce all of that? It's like one hand of that feeds the other. And if we just did away with that drug war, made cannabis illegal and all of the other drugs, we could end lots of these problems. And we'd certainly get rid of the cartels. We'd certainly get rid of the gangs. And the prescription drugs would be thrown in the trash because all they are is deadly anyway. And we could open up once and for all, an industry in America that's homegrown right here in America that could pull us out of the doldrums of what we are. We encourage all of you to visit the website at CannabisCorner.us and I thank you again for spending time in the Cannabis Corner.